Hello guys, welcome back. This is Saifuddin Ghanizadeh with another tutorial on Curio Control UTM configuration series. In this video, I will cover the users and groups under configuration menu. Let's start. First of all, open your computer's web browser. Log into the Curio Control administration panel. Under the configuration menu, click on the users menu. As you can see, currently there are three clients. The first one is admin, which will be automatically generated. Double click on the admin user to see the details. Here you can see that admin has full access rights for administration at any time. And also it says none of the values can be changed except for the password. I have manually created two users. First is saifuddin.ghanizadeh and second one is test.user. If you want to create a new user, click on the add button. Now enter all the information for the mentioned user. In the authentication type, you can choose whether you want to use the authentication as internal user database or as directory service. As I have created this account manually, so I will select the internal user database and provide a password for the user. In the domain template, you have to choose this user has a separate configuration so that you can bring some changes to this user. Click on the groups and assign this user to a specific group. Click on the add button. As he is the IT manager, so he belongs to the IT group. In the rights tab, you can give him access to administration rights. As you can see, the default right is that he has no access to administration panel. You can give him a read-only access to the administration panel, or you can give him a full access to the administration. And also, you can assign some additional rights that whether this user should be able to unlock content filters, unlock control dial-up lines, or user can connect using VPN. By VPN, I mean Kirio Control VPN. Under quota, you can specify a daily, weekly, and monthly quota for this specific user. I will specify a weekly quota limit for this person. To enable the weekly limit, Check this option and in the direction whether you want the download and upload both to be counted in the weekly limit or not. I only want download limit to be counted in the weekly limit. So I will select the download option and give a quota of 10 GB per week for this person. What do you want Kirio Control to do if the user has exceeded his quota? You have two options whether you want to block the further traffic or you don't want to block further traffic. If the user has exceeded his weekly limit, you can assign a rule for him so that the speed and bandwidth to be limited for him after he has reached his 100% of weekly limit. You have another option to notify user by email when he has exceeded his quota. If you select this option, an email will be sent to the user that he has exceeded his quota and needs to contact IT department. Under Preferences tab, I won't change any of the options except for the language. As you can see that the preferred language is the browser's language. I will leave it as it is, but if you want, you can change it from the drop-down. Click on the drop-down button and select your desired language. Under Addresses tab, here you can specify a specific host IP address for this client. And also, you can specify a MAC address for this client, which will be used for automatic login of his user. For example, if you know his computer's IP address, check this option and enter the IP address of his computer. Any device with this IP address will be automatically logged in with the user of Ali.Ahmad. If you know his laptop's specific MAC address, check this option and enter the MAC address. This specific MAC address 
will be automatically logged in with the user of Ali.Ahmad. I don't want to specify MAC address and host IP address, so I will uncheck these options. Under the VPN client address, you can also assign a static IP address for his VPN. If this user want to access Kirio control from outside of a network, this specific IP address will be automatically mapped. I don't want to assign a static IP address for this client's VPN, so I will uncheck this option. Click the OK button to save all the changes. The user is created. If you want to remove a specific user, select the user and click the remove button to remove it. And if you want to edit it, click on the edit button, change the parameter and click the OK button to save the configuration. Under more actions, you have two options, whether you want to disable a user or enable a user account. If you want to disable a specific account, select the account, click on the more actions button and click the disabled user option. The user will be disabled. Let me enable this user. If you want to enable or disable multiple accounts, select the accounts, click on the more actions button and choose whether you want to enable this user or disable these users. The next app menu under users and group is groups. Here you can add specific groups so that you can specify which user belongs to which group and it will help you to do a better bandwidth management and content filter management. To create a group, click on the Add button, give a name for the group, give a description for this group. Under the Members menu, you can assign members to this group. If you want to assign a specific member, click on the Add button, select the member, click the OK button. Now, Saifuddin Tatganizada's user is member of the management team. Under the rights, you can also specify a right for group. Whether this group should be able to have a read-only access to the administration or they should have full access to the administration. And also, whether they should be able to unlock content filters, dial-ups, and connect using Kirio Control VPN or not. I don't want to give any right for this group, so I will select No Access to Administration. Click the OK button to create this group. To edit a specific group, select the group and click on the Edit button. And click the OK button to save the changes. If you want to remove a specific group, select the group, click on the Remove button. Kirio Control will confirm your action. If you want to delete the group, click Yes. If you don't want click no button. If you have any problem creating users and groups, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will catch you soon with another video. Till then, have a nice day.